you're, you're, you'll see that. Uh, he won't. Okay. Uh, they're fascinating. They're misunderstood. They're fascinating. We talk about the features. Misunderstood. They're not aggressive. If you're out in the hills and you hear that sound, you know, don't go screaming and running because you might run right into it. But hey, he's not trying to chase me. He's a wild animal. He's actually trying to get away from me. So, uh, we came out here. We can see more better. Uh, can everybody hear that noise? Okay. Hear that rattle? Yeah. yeah. A couple of you. But see how he's using his tongue? So no, they're not. They can travel real fast, but they're not going to come get you. You're too damn big for them to eat. They're only going to strike you if I get a little too close. And I got about right here. This guy's. I was telling Tom, we call him nasty. I say put super nasty. I had him out one time, and he actually took off and lunged to his whole body. He landed about right here. And that kind of spooked me a little bit. So I give him, I give him lots of clearance. We don't usually do that. Let's have him pop a balloon first, if you will. <laughs> okay, now notice, notice the senses. What's he using? His tongue. his tongue is his main sensory organ. He's using his eyes, right? He's, he's smelling me with his tongue, smelling me with his nose, he's watching me with his eyes. They have eyes, but their sight isn't the best. He's warning me with his rattle. And so if I get a little bit too close, what's he going to do? Well, pretty much. Just, I don't know if you know Tom Brokaw or not, but I did one over there on his ranch last night. Both he's he, he's about ready. Ah! Well, I told you. Yeah, I don't like that guy. He knows, he knows me. Okay, come on. And he missed the broom. He did that last night too. He was so. Wanting to get a hold of me, he didn't even hit the balloon. Oh! One more. Ah! There we go. Good job, Charlie. But hey, that answer how far they can strike Half or a third of the distance. Oh, no. That's the fast I moved your lock. Okay, now you're going to have a chance to too far away. Uh, they have venom sacs on both sides of their jaws. Too far away. And they're, that fang that you see sticking out, that's like a hypodermic needle. It's just hollow. And what they can do, they shoot the venom out through that fang. They can shoot all of it, none of it, or portions of it. So they can control the amount. He's stuck a few times. There may not be a lot of venom left, but we'll find out. All right, Charlie. You did such a good job. Now, don't come after me, you idiot. <laughs> he's going to show us the venom. Ooh, whoa. That was a good hit. That was a good, that was a good hit, and you can see that wet stuff. Uh, see everybody see that? No. See that wet stuff on that? It's extremely toxic. You put, you put that in. <laughs> please, please watch him. <laughs> I don't trust him. This guy here. Did he spit it? He did. Now that's a first. He busted he bust the thing off. Oh. oh, yeah. He's got about three or four more right behind him. By the time tomorrow he'll have another fang, he might even within before the day's over. They move another one right forward. They're they're all covered in a sheet that they retract into their jaw. And of course that comes out when they strike. But he he lost it. Well he was pretty relaxed. Can you bring that over here?
Yeah, he's up. He's ready to roll. Yeah, he kind of likes Tom, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he's watching you, Rob. He really likes me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, do, we'll do one more strike here and then we'll get another one out. And then we'll end it up here talking with him about safety. Okay, okay, what kind of round of snake is that? Diamondback, right? Diamondback? Yeah. You guys are a quick study around here. Okay, uh. He's only got one fang. Let's see if it works. He doesn't know that, I don't think. He may not strike now. Uh oh, boy, don't let a dog lose, please. Dead dog. Ah! That's a nice He unloaded on that one. You can stick in the box. I want to see that. 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 I want What? How? How is he watching me? What you using? His eyes. His tongue. Look at that tongue going, and it goes in. When it goes in, it goes into that Jacobson organ. Organ. He says, Ah, there's a balloon out there. <laughs> He may not strike, I don't know. I've had him out a few days. Is he a player? Right. Oh, he don't want to strike. I said you will this. Here's warm. It's got a hot water bottle in it. Uh-uh. No, you don't. He's kind of like these girls. There's one. That was a mess. Try it again, buddy. You can do better than that. Come on. Yeah, Come on. Ooh. yeah you yeah. watch it. Look at the venom on that. Yeah. He unloaded. Oh, boy, yeah, I don't down. think he's struck. See that water he hasn't dripping down. <coughs> expelled any venom. Yeah, yeah. Much on that There's a lot there. No, that quite a bit. Yeah, that's yeah. One. There's a lot there. Yeah. More than the other one. dripping. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a good hit. Yeah, Okay, before we put him away, any any other comments or questions on him, and then we'll wrap this up. The venom, that's a good question. See, he'll keep shooting venom out until it's empty, and just a few days, they build it back, they start building it back right away. But he probably is reserving a little in there, because he knows he needs his venom to get something to eat, and he doesn't want to waste it on me. You know, they even have what they call dry bites. That's a warning bite. They'll rattle and they'll defend themselves, they'll strike with no venom. Because they don't want to waste it if they don't if they haven't eaten. So a good question. Okay. They can be, but usually not. They're pretty solitary. Okay, sir. Question, please. Yes, sir. How do they make their venom? Do they synthesize it or I don't know. You know, I'm not into that. All I know is the comp on the snake. The composition, the composition of, of 